my lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and welcome to another energy check-in so today we're asking what does spirit want you to know about your connection um right now but before we do two things just want to remind you guys about the twin flame energy webinar that's coming up on the 14th of may so we're going to go very deep into the structure and functionality of twin flame connections particularly the twin flame ring we're going to look at famous twin flames and what their ring looks like and there's going to be a question and answer segment so you can join charlotte and i for that but the real meat of the matter today before we get into the main reading is that well you guys know that i collect out of print decks and about a month ago i remember telling you guys that there were three decks that i was looking for and i was just going to release it into the universe and see what happens a month later i i'm in possession of two of those decks that i've been searching for years to have and one of those um is this deck the little red one deck and it was designed by this beautiful queen here la vito Ru. um and she transitioned in 2017 a very young woman um, 2017 and as far as people knew all her decks were non-existent we couldn't find them anywhere so there were a lot of in people in a, in a lot of forums people were asking for the deck we couldn't find it and just at the time when I made that announcement to you guys and I'm looking for these decks I just you know decided just I'm just gonna ask in a tarot forum and see what happens and BAM someone who had been in contact with her mother um, said that her mother was now um, selling these decks. She had found some in her old workshop um, and that they were selling these decks to put one of her sons through college because I think when she trans transitioned, um, the boys would have been about 14 or 15 or something like that. So one is now college age um, and they're selling these decks to put in through college. So I'm introducing you to this deck today. She still has some, and I'm going to put the contact information below, right? And you can just reach out to her directly um, on WhatsApp. And, you know, it takes a village to raise a child. And maybe we didn't know them personally, but we are all so family. So, if you're able to assist by purchasing this, this is gorgeous beautiful collectible deck um i would be appreciative of that okay so what does spirit want you to know about your connection so we have guardians so right away spirit is letting you know that guardians your guardian angels ancestors spirit guides they're in charge of this connection right now and they're imbuing this connection with a spirit um, of healing we have a lot of pink here for me pink always represents healing pink is also crown chakra so a lot of downloads coming through coming through and a lot of truth with regard to this connection okay um this this is one of the expression cards um in this deck so this is a very powerful card to get um as the, uh, as the underlying energy so that tells us that you know spirit's in charge spirit's in charge of this right now let's get um a significator for your person's energy towards you so if you want this deck, and you're going to see the beautiful images um, that are coming out because I'm going to use this throughout the reading, just reach out to her mom. It's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, the energy towards you. So we have Ia, and it says Earth. So to them, you are the Earth Mother, okay? And that's Capricorn energy, which is very interesting because she was a Capricorn also. I think she was born um, on the 11th. Of January if I'm not mistaken right and we have a father what the hell so what's the energy towards you the energy towards you I mean person's energy towards you is that they know you guys are counterparts they know that you guys are intrinsically linked to each other because they're vines here they see you as very grounding and your energy is very nurturing um, to this person, okay? It's like you hold, you anchor them. You anchor them um, into 
um, the earth and they see her as very beautiful and they see her as very protected. Um, she's in a forest here underneath some trees. And for me, trees are always ancestral energy. So they know that you're, 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 got, you're heavily guarded. And we had, the first card that came out underneath is about guardians. You're heavily guarded. You're heavily guided. And they see you as just pure. Pure and even her clothes, very sensual and flowing um, with the energy of the universe, right? So they see as special. They also see as very wise. Because here is always a symbol of wisdom. And it looks like she has a ras. A purple ras too. And purple is of course third eye. So they think you're very wise. They think you're very intuitive. And they are standing in the knowledge. Yeah, standing on the solid foundation. Because this person standing on a solid foundation here. They're standing on the knowledge um, that you are their counterpart. You are their counterpart. Now, I think they're having, they're spending a lot of time um, in meditative moments with the kind of position I see his hands in. This person, this masculine energy also has um, a wand um, in his hand. So they are standing in their power. They're leveling up and they too are growing because his wrath is growing. They too are growing in wisdom, but they are heavily inspired by and supported um, by you. Beautiful, powerful message um, that's coming through there. So they know that you are their counterpart. They see that. Um, they have their one in their hand. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My mind. It's naughty. <laughs> they have their one in their hand. You know, and, and, and why shouldn't they? Why should they? <laughs> okay. So we have that message coming through as well. All right. So what does Spirit want you to know about this connection? Let me get um, six cards. What does Spirit want you to know? All right. So we have meditation, right? Well, we saw it, right? Meditation. We have Baba, wind. So this is the father of air, which is the king of swords. We have Tunde, wind, which is the night of air. Gemini energy, Aquarius energy. We have the star card. We have death. This is just a gorgeous thing. And we have the hermit. So Aquarius coming through there. Um, Scorpio coming through. Uh, and then we have the hermit Virgo energy. Alrighty. So what does spirit want you to know about this connection right now? Well, you're, you're a person spending a lot of time alone. Um... We've got meditation and we have the hermit, right? This is this is a recluse. They don't want to talk to anyone. They don't want to um, deal with anything right now. They just want to absorb some of the truths that they are downloading um, from the universe. Now, remember, we saw his hair sticking up on end and connecting to the ethers, right? So your person getting a lot of downloads right now and they're going through their own awakening. Now, there are a lot of spirals here. So they're closing off a lot of karmic cycles as they surrender to the enlightenment um, that is coming through um, for them. And that's why they need that time alone. So if you feel like your person has drawn back and just pulled back their energy just a bit, it's because they need that space to integrate this truth. But know that they're standing in the knowledge of one. You are their counterpart. And, and, and if it, there's a kind of inevitable feeling that I'm getting from these cards. It's like there's no turning back. Okay? Because even the knight of us, the knight of swords, the knight of air goes to the king of swords. So the more they spend time in quiet contemplation, is the more evident um and the more clear um their truths become. Their truths are crystallizing. 
No, I see a person. They're doing a lot of healing here. Okay? And they want to heal this connection. But right now, they're focusing on healing um, their own wounded inner child. And your energy is helping them um, through this process. Okay? Because remember, they see you as the Earth Mother. Right? They see you as the Earth Mother. So your nurturing energy is helping them heal their wounded inner child. I'm really getting that this person has a serious mother wound here. But your grounding energy, because that's what you're doing for them right now. It's like giving them safe passage um, through this initiation, through this awakening that they're going through right now. They're saying goodbye to several of their old selves. Saying goodbye to the past, wrapping up loose ends. That's the idea that I'm getting. And even here, the death card um, has Capricorn energy in it because we see the horns there. So any kind of addictions that they may have had, anything that they felt bound to, anything that they felt addicted to, they are releasing, which is interesting. Because for the longest while, I was basically like addicted to finding this deck. I was as obsessed with finding this deck and the two others. And the minute I released that, and I just, you know what? It's going to come to me when it's going to come to me. I'm just going to put it out there um, to the universe. That's exactly what happened. It came to me. So your person, they're releasing their obsessions. They're releasing their addictions. And this was paving the way um, for their new beginning and for their awakening um, right now. So I feel like your person's kind of shut themselves away. There's a lot of things that are happening around them, but a lot of things happening internally and they just need that time um, to integrate. Let's look at your person's heart space energy for you right now. So that's what spirit wants you to know. Let's look at their heart space energy for you. We have Ye Ye, card number three, the Empress. That's how they see you. The Empress. Gorgeous. Let's get two more. We have Omo Wind. It's a page of air. So we have the page of swords there, the, the stalker. And then we have the page um, of cups. All right. So what's in their heart space? Their heart space is making an, off, an offer to you. Coming forward and expressing their love. Listen, don't express any big gesture. I don't see that. Right? Both of these are pages. Um, they know what direction they need to head. And they're quite clear about that. But if you look at this. This person is still changing. They're still transforming. And there's still a bit of the mask that needs to come off. So they're not ready to make any kind of big moves. But they're ready to let you know or at least give you a hint as to how they feel. But notice the... Notice the, I don't know, is Mercury in retrograde somewhere? No, no, it's not. <laughs> Everything is direct. Why am I, you know, finding it so hard to express myself? I think this is your person. They, they find it so hard to express themselves and their feelings. They're getting accustomed to the emotional depths, right? So we see that evolution from our last reading. 
They're getting accustomed to the emotional depths of this connection, but at the same time, they find it very hard to express their feelings and to take off this mask completely. Even though this person knows all roads lead to the Empress, they find it very, very hard to express that. Let's ask spirit why. Let's go into this ancestral path, Tarot. Let's ask spirit why. Why are they finding it so hard to express their feelings? I always say, the ones I left back in the box is always a message. We have the wheel of fortune and we have the world. Listen. This person is just overwhelmed. Everything is changing in their life. It's like a whole new world is opening up to them. A lot of things closing off from the past. They're just overwhelmed. Let's still ask. Spirit, why is this person finding it so hard um, to express themselves? We have the five of pentacles. So that's about being alone. Um, and I'm getting it trying to get comfortable with being um, by themselves. Let's see. Why do they find it so hard to express themselves? And express their feelings. We have the, well, we had the emperor in reverse. That's Aries and Taurus. We have the six of pentacles. And we have the Ace of Wands. So as passionate as this person is about you, and it's interesting, the Ankh comes out twice. Once in this card, just at the corner here. And then we have it here again, right? So you've been a symbol or a catalyst for their rebirth, their renewal, um, and their awakening, right? But at the same time, this person's trying to find their bearings. They're trying to get themselves back into balance they don't feel confident enough like you yet you are here as the empress standing in your power and they are the emperor in reverse this person feels intimidated that's why they find it hard to express their feelings they feel intimidated by you you are creator you are creator there's so many things that you've already brought to life some of you are indeed um, mothers of children some of you have birth projects some of you might have even birth oracle decks just like you know love you to rule you're accustomed to birthing new things you're abundant you're fertile and you're not afraid of change but this person then that they're, they're, they're just not there yet they're not there yet So I'm getting like this this person needs time. This person needs time. Let's ask um spirit what's happening in their immediate environment right now. We have the sun. Somebody's transitioning in their environment. We have the High Priestess in reverse. And we have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, for some of them, they're definitely grieving. Um, somebody has transitioned, okay, for them. It could be an elder or it could even be a child. Something very painful. Something very painful like that. Right, but it looks like someone um, is crossing over. Right, so, so for some of them, when it's Ten of Cups in reverse here, for some of them, um, they're definitely grieving. There's some kind of bereavement 
um, that is happening. But that's just for a small amount of persons. For others, um, they are being enlightened. And not just in terms of an awakening, a spiritual awakening. There are secrets that are coming out about the people around them. Um, and they are learning the depth of their dysfunctional um, family members. I think they always knew that their family members were kind of, you know, just a little quirky, just a little off. But now they're finding out the depth of their ancestors' dysfunction and the depth of the dysfunction that presently exists um, in this present generation. And this is causing them to step even further into their power. Yeah, they're enlightened. They see the path ahead now. They see what they're meant to do. They see what is their calling um, in this life. And they want to answer, but I'm getting that they're spending a lot of time alone. Just trying to gather their thoughts. And, and to just reset. To just reset, that's what I'm getting. So if this feels like their energy... Or what you've been feeling already. Join me in the extended. What I'm going to do. I'm going to get a semi-trans message um, from them. We're going to look at their thoughts. We've looked at their heart space. We're going to look at their thoughts. We're going to look at their next actions towards you. Within a month of you watching this reading. Um, and then we're going to get some advice from Spirit. Now if you can't join me in the extended. Um, let me get some advice now. Don't come off with Trump Queen. Right. And if you're interested in, in the deck, just text them, Mom. And you can always say that you got the information um, from Made for Love on YouTube. I bought two. I'll probably send the other one to Charlotte. <laughs> All right. Underneath the deck, we have rules. Rules, problem. Okay, so it looks like in the past, both of you guys were holding on to your version of what this connection should be. Okay, um, your person was laying down the law, you were laying down the law, and nobody was willing to compromise, and you all kind of stalled um, here on the path because you couldn't get, you can, you guys couldn't agree on what was the way forward, and you couldn't get on the same page. But Spirit is saying, you must find a way to compromise without compromising yourself. Because the card number 59 and 59 reduces to 14, 14 is temperance. And temperance is all about balance, it's all about compromise. So Spirit is saying that you guys can find a way to compromise without compromising yourself, your morals and your beliefs. Okay? All right, what's the advice besides that? <laughs> What's the advice? Okay, we have giving. Okay. So it looks like it's it's interesting. Um, we have a, another card number three. So this is the Empress. Okay. Um, and the Empress is divine feminine energy. And divine feminine energy is all about being receptive. So what Spirit is saying right now, I think you might have been the overgiver um, in the past. So in order for this relationship or this connection to come back into the ba into balance, you must now receive and they must now give. So nothing is required of you right now except for you to embody the energy of the Empress. Okay? This is a time for you to receive and it looks like your person is coming forward to give you some kind of gift, some kind of token of their affection and spirit saying, it's a time to be open and be receptive um, to the advances. It doesn't mean that you're going to compromise yourself or your morals, your beliefs, or anything like that. And it doesn't mean that you get to transgress your boundaries. But it is saying that you don't have to be hyper-defensive all the time. You can let down these walls and let someone in. You have boundaries now. You know when to tell them to get off. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, so that was your reading. If it felt like 
um, your energy. You can join me in the extended. Don't forget to consider um, purchasing this beautiful deck. It's for a great cause. Um, and it's by an amazing artist um, who did so much beautiful work for Spirit um, whilst she was here on the Earth plane. Besides the Oracle deck, she was an author, a woodworker, just a beautiful queen. Okay? All right, my loves, that was your reading. Hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.